are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, Black and White Sports fans, I told you guys yesterday that Aaron Rodgers was on borrowed time. His days were numbered on the Pat McAfee show. I told you guys because yesterday, man, not only was he actually uh, crushing uh, ESPN, the mainstream media, Jimmy Kimmel, he was going off. I told you guys it was only going to be a matter of time before Aaron Rodgers was shown a door on the Pat McAfee show. We got some bombshell news here, guys. Bombshell news. Now, this kind of caught me by surprise. I was actually just sitting down there. I saw this. I was like, whoa, I need to go ahead and shoot a video on this because this is massive. Aaron Rodgers is cut from the Pat McAfee show. Allegedly, it's not permanent. But I wouldn't be surprised, guys, if he was done for good on the Pat McAfee show. Even Pat McAfee seems to be wanting this to happen. Yeah. So we're going to be diving into all of that, guys, in this video. First, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member. Remember, live stream every single Friday just starts at five dollars per month. Let's go ahead and get into this. Now, I don't believe we've actually heard from um, Aaron Rodgers on this. But this is on New York Post here. Aaron Rodgers cut from the Pat McAfee show for rest of season. Now, I don't think they're talking about necessarily the NFL season, even though we know that the uh, the playoffs are starting. But from what I actually understand, Aaron Rodgers is usually on the Pat McAfee show up until like March. After those comments yesterday, I guess the higher ups at um, ESPN told Pat McAfee, you can't have this guy on anymore. I mean, Aaron Rodgers may be done for good on the Pat McAfee show. Let's read some of this, guys. It says even Pat McAfee has had enough of the Aaron Rodgers drama. Now, yesterday, Pat McAfee did look kind of uncomfortable when Aaron Rodgers was actually uh, trashing some of the higher ups over there at ESPN. The ESPN host announced at the start of the uh, Pat McAfee show on Wednesday that the Jets quarterback has made his final appearance of the season. Quote, there will be a lot of people who are happy with that. Myself included, to be honest with you, McAfee said. The way it ended, it got really loud. I am glad or I am happy that he's not going to be in my mentions going forward, which is great news. Rogers was originally uh, scheduled to appear throughout the playoffs. The post is uh, Andrew Marshawn uh, reported. So, yeah. The higher ups at ESPN, they got rid of Aaron Rodgers. I think that's pretty clear. Rodgers' fourth season as a guest of the show ends amid a few with uh, Jimmy Kimmel after suggesting the ABC late night host could be on the list of Jeffrey Epstein's associates. That's not what Aaron Rodgers said, though. He's just saying that uh, there are people, you know, like Jimmy Kimmel that doesn't want the list to come out. I mean, people, I guess, have are hearing impaired, I guess. I don't know. Roger's final appearance came on Tuesday and he spent most of it discussing the Kimmel feud and his controversial thoughts on COVID. All Aaron Rodgers said about uh, COVID was, hey, I just want information. I want to be more informed. And it's up to me, not you, not the government to actually tell me what to um Put my body. Uh, McAfee has remained loyal to Rodgers throughout the drama. Uh, quote, Aaron Rodgers is a Hall of Famer, a four time MVP, a massive piece of the NFL story. Whenever you go back and tell it, he will be a huge part of it. McAfee said, we are very lucky to get the chance to chat with him and learn from him. Some of his thoughts and opinions do piss off a lot of people, I guess, like 
ESPN executives. Um, I am pumped that uh, will no longer be every single Wednesday of my life, which it has been the past uh, few weeks. On Friday, obviously, I threw us into the fire as well. Forever, stand by that. Everything else, though, just can't do that and not what we want to be known for. Friday is when McAfee called ESPN executive Norby Williamson a rat and accused him of sabotaging a show after the Post published a story featuring the show's struggling ratings. Now, something is telling me, man, based on this, and not Aaron Rodgers, but um, Pat McAfee seems to be a company man now. That That's what it seems like to me. He seems to be a company man. And he seems happy that Aaron Rodgers will not be around, even though Pat McAfee actually um called Norby Williamson a rat. Aaron Rodgers came out the next day, slammed him too. Something's telling me that um Pat McAfee got an earful from ESPN. And they told him, hey, Aaron Rodgers got to go. Aaron Rodgers got to go. This is our show. You see, guys, this is the problem, man, when you actually go corporate. When you go corporate, you're going to be forced to bend the knee. We saw the same thing actually happen with um with uh, Barstool Sports. Who was it on uh, Barstool? He dropped the N word um, while he was he was rapping the, the lyrics, by the way. And um, and Barstool was told, hey, you got to let this guy go. I believe it was Mitzi. Yeah, Mitzi was on fire. Dave Portnoy wasn't running the company. Remember, he sold it. Then he got it back. Immediately, he actually uh, called up Mitzi and brought him back. Yeah, this came from the top, man. Pat McAfee probably didn't make this call. But he had to abide by ESPN. Yeah, this is the problem, man. This is the problem, man, when you go corporate. He signed that deal with ESPN, man. And I knew it was only going to be a matter of time before Aaron Rodgers was shown the door. And you know what? Maybe Aaron Rodgers was actually trying to get a ban from the show. Because he wouldn't stick to the mainstream mainstream narrative. Wow. This is some huge news, guys. Huge news. And McAfee seems to be okay with this. I don't know if we're ever going to see Aaron Rodgers again on this show. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.